Welcome everybody to another eye-opening episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right, eye-opening because I had no idea this even existed. Until last night when I read a comment saying to go check it out. The Trailer Park Boys in Missouri and Idaho. I know what y'all are saying. Why are we talking about Trailer Park Boys? It's not exactly what you might think. The only trailer parks I know screams freedom, but these ones definitely don't. When you got a jail that has too many inmates and you ain't got enough funds to add on to it, it's time to take the semi-truck trailer park route. <laughs> That's right, man. Wait till you see these cell blocks. Doing hard time. Maximum security cell blocks inside of a trailer. Prepare yourself, ladies and gentlemen. I got a, a time-lapse clip of them building this, which they don't have it on YouTube. I had to go searching, hunting for this puppy. Not to mention a walkthrough of these tuna can cell blocks. Let's get right into it. If you enjoy this type of content, all things lock up and crime related, then this is where you want to be. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave, and check out my playlist with many more videos for you to start watching today. Now, like I said, I have two clips. The first one's going to be time lapse. There's no audio, so I'm going to read from an article explaining exactly what's going on. But I will be reacting to the second clip, which is a tour of these cell blocks. Six 52-foot semi-trailers are being built surrounded by chain-link fence topped with swirls of razor wire. Within the stainless steel walls, 108 men eat, sleep, and live for days, weeks, or even months. But the real question here is, how is this guy sitting straight up in that little cubby? Confined in a space that per man is less than half the size of a ping pong table. About a year ago, the trailer jail began housing inmates. It was heralded by county officials as the first of its kind in the country, and a cost-effective temporary solution to a jail overcrowding problem. The idea was, the trailer jail could temporarily relieve some of the mounting pressures while Greene County works toward a more permanent fix by renovating an existing building and constructing an addition across the street. Springfield was apparently the first city to become the trailer jail, but it's not the last. The creator of the project Seymour-based company All Detention Solutions is now capitalizing on a nationwide jail overcrowding crisis. One of them being Canyon County, Idaho, which we're going to travel to in a second. Canyon County officials approved a 4.5 million lease agreement with all detainment solutions for a temporary jail where they plan to house 122 women. It's crazy to think in El Salvador they got a mega prison that holds 40,000 inmates. You come over here in America, they're slinging guys in trailers. I'll take that trailer any day over the El Salvadorian chain. Any day, any minute. Canyon County, here we come. The title says, Unveiling an Innovative Jail for Women Made Out of Semi-Trailers. And like I said, from what I read, these are not permanent solutions. And the articles on these are about five years old, so they could possibly not be running anymore. If anybody has any information on these two places, let us know in the comments section below. I am astounded, quite frankly, of how this thing has come together what it looks like on the inside, the functionality, what's going to the ease of operation for us. I'm a big proponent of having this type of facility as a temporary fix. I'm more than pleased. This thing's a damn walk-in gas chamber. Already the voice from just one guy is reverberating like it's 30. You imagine a bunch of inmates in here during the Super Bowl? I wouldn't even step foot in this thing. Man, you better go put me in the dungeon, a real cell. Very fix. I'm more than pleased. We got our first look inside pod six. This is our maximum security unit. As the Canyon County Sheriff's Office took us on a ah. tour. And this is the only medical unit inside here? Yes. Wow, this is their medical unit. Looks like it's up to date with plenty of equipment. Some steel walls and a cushioned mat. They gotta be joking, man. This looks like a dry cell. <laughs> Canyon County, man. They're smoking. Although y'all can't see because my webcam's over here. But look at the inmate. He had to get his shine on. <laughs> the only thing medical they have in this place is the hand sanitizer, man. Come on, this ain't no medical unit. Hate to steal your shine again, big dog. Through this new facility that can house 122 inmates. If you guys want to come on in. Those inmates will all be female, creating more room in the Dale Hale Detention Center. In the end, you have a facility that's quite robust and will last a long, long time. All Detainment Solutions, a company out of Missouri, designed this jail out of 28 semi-trailers that were welded together to create Pod 6. More like Pod 666. 
snakes. Nobody walks out of these tuna cans alive. I'm just playing, man, but seriously, this place looks like hell on earth, man. I, don't, I would never want to do time in this thing. It's been a tremendous team effort. This team effort didn't sacrifice any security. It's open like that. I can keep somebody in handcuffs, maintain control of their hands. They go in through here. We're able to close the door, door locks. Then I unhandcuff them. Pod 6 features dozens of cameras and a control room to monitor the inmates. And that's what's key about jails in general. You gotta have a lot of time in planning and account for every little thing that you can possibly think of because something's gonna come up. Judging by that collar, hat, and mustache, this guy's got oil money. I'm a gambling man, you know, and I'd put it all on this guy owning everything out there. From the Quickie Mart all the way down to the Trailer Park 6 cell block. This meets what we need for our recreation to, to get the rest of the people throughout the facility. I hate to pause it because they're jumping from clip to clip so quick, but let's take a look at their uh, dog kennels here. That's what we call like segregation, man. When you're in trouble, you go to the hole and you get 30 minutes of rec time. You can usually walk outside into one of these cages. But I think over here, this is like their normal recreation. All they got, right? I don't know if they close the gates behind them or what, but at least they're outside getting some fresh air, right? I was in a jail where you didn't see sunlight, you didn't smell fresh air, you were in a dungeon until you went to court or prison. County has agreed to a five to seven year lease that will cost around $13 million. The classroom. A five to what, seven year lease for 13 million for six trailers? No, sir, man, no way. Look at this visitation, man. It looks like something Hannibal Lecter lives in. But all detainment systems did use local businesses to make Pod 6 a reality. Yeah, so our contractors, we were very proud and very thankful to have uh, on, on site, putting this together to the final touches of connecting all systems between all the different components. Sheriff Donahue calls Pod 6 an important brick in the foundation. You'll notice the amount of ambient light coming in. But stresses more needs to be done to solve overcrowding in the county's prison system. We've got to do something about spending our money wisely. What do you think about that, all you ex-cons out there? You think you could do a long stretch in that trailer? But well, let's jump back over to Missouri to witness the inside of theirs. Like I said, it's a little more closed quarters than the one we just seen. Almost like a submarine. They got these guys stacked in like sardines for real. I mean, that doesn't even look like uh, you can fit into the middle one. That's less room than a damn coffin, ladies and gentlemen. No way. Imagine where you, where are you gonna pull your commissary and stuff, man. This place makes no sense. But, continue with the slideshow. Oh, I guess uh, uh, another image of the other side. Another image. Another bunk area. Oh, this must be the common area. Uh, the CO probably sits right here to watch and maintain everything. Got plenty of phones. That's good. And this is probably where they all eat. Oh, where's all the TVs, though? That's what I like to see. Imagine being in here during a lightning storm. Man, I'd be scared. Whole thing could light up like Raiden. But man, these chairs, every time I see them, bring back some crazy memories. <laughs> I used to saw the legs of these things off, sometimes as a prank, from the nylon string of the bed mat, right? And the prank, you would cut it all the way down till there was just a little bit left to where the chair is still sitting up. But as soon as someone sits in it, it's gonna crack. The only good times in jail, if you're to ask me, were commissary day, visitation day, and prank day. <laughs> All right, what's next up? What we got here? Another view. Common area. Uh, of course, our outdoor wreck. That's it, though, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed a closer look into these trailer jails. Like I said, I never knew they existed. Well... I knew some, somewhat of these type of things existing. Like I said, I've been in a jail where they were training canines in the back, right? Well, they got overcrowded. They turned that thing into a, a cell block. And it was pretty much a glorified double wide trailer with a high ceiling. You know, so this type of stuff has been going on. And yes, I do have hair. There's always someone in the comments section saying after I take off my hat in an episode, I had no idea you had hair, man. That's amazing. You should keep the hat off. No, I cannot. I don't wear it in public, only on here. I feel like it's just a part of my uniform or something. I'll probably grow out of it sooner or later, you know, just like when I used to tuck my ears underneath the hat. Remember those days, y'all? Let's see if I can still do it. Looking like a young blue-nosed pit bull. But anyways, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. I got an interview with someone from or who did time in Ohio.
coming your way Saturday morning. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, though, as always, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.